Okay, welcome to the Blender tutorial. Hopefully it works this time. So you'll notice... Oh, whoops. Okay, first of all, step one, open Blender. Step two, delete this cube. So you select it and press delete, and it deletes. And then step three, you want to open file in the top left. Go into import, import FBX. And then go to wherever the FBX is saved. For me, it's in here. FBX. Blank. And then just import FBX. And then the model gets imported over. Now I'll go over the controls for Blender. To move it around, to zoom in, the scroll wheel. Scroll wheel forward, zooms in. Scroll wheel out, moves it out. Scroll wheel down, I mean. Uh, you'll notice there's... Uh, and also, if you press the scroll wheel in and move it around, it rotates the camera around. If you do that while pressing shift, it moves it there. So if you press the scroll wheel in, moves it around. Hold shift while doing that, it moves it around. Okay, so you'll notice there's these weird lines that you get when you import it over. I can't remember what they're called, but the way you get rid of them is you can select them and then press delete, but that deletes important things, like as you see there, the canopy just got deleted. So, yeah, that's not good. So instead, I'm just going to undo that. The way you can get rid of them, though, so they don't annoy you, is you can just select them and then press H and it hides them, like that. And you can do these with all of them. Uh, these ones aren't really in the way, but you can delete them anyway. Get rid of them like that. So yeah, but if you, if you see like that, we delete it and weird stuff happens. We don't want that to happen, so you just hide it instead. Right, now the way you undo is you press Control Z, like fairly straightforward. If you want to redo something, you press uh, Control Shift and Z, it redoes it. Okay, now for getting into the... Uh, but let's say we move away and we can't really see the plane from a good angle. What you can do is you can select the plane and press uh, the full stop button on the number pad and it'll center it over the plane. So if we move it really far away and then we're in the wrong spot, select the plane and then press that and it'll recenter it. Now you notice when we zoom in, it goes through the plane and we can't actually, uh, we, can't, we can't see things up close. So the way to stop that is by pressing number pad five and it puts it in a different mode that allows you to zoom without going through the plane, like that. Whereas that zooms through. Now to edit it, you want to select the part that you want to edit. So if I select the uh, the body, I then go to texture paint, zoomed out again, zoom back in, and now I can see all the parts. So this is the top where the canopy is there, and then this is the underside under there. So yeah, uh, you can just edit it like that. You can paint on here, or I can paint on the actual plane itself, like this. Okay. Now let's say I wanted to make the body completely white. What I can do is I can go to the fill tool and I can select the body to click it and that will make everything on here white, okay? But it won't make everything else white. So if I undo that and I select it just on here, it'll make the entire thing white like that, okay? Which isn't which isn't useful if you want to do more details. Like you notice how it's, if we undo, you notice how it's changed some of them things to that. Okay, now I'll go over the, uh, the brush tool if you go to stroke, it's currently in space, and that what that means is you can just move it free like this. If you go to stroke and then stroke method, you can change what it does. So if I change it to line, like this, and then I hold click and move it, it will make a line. And I can also do that while being on here as well. So if I wanted a big straight line going through here, I could do it like that, and then I could do it like this. So now we've got a pattern sort of on it like that. Okay, so now that you've got a skin, you'll notice when we go back to layout, let's say I wanted to edit the canards, you go back to layout to select the canards, uh, you notice how the skin is gone, it's disappeared. That's because we can't see it in the layout mode. So if you go to the top right, you'll notice there's these four options. So this one makes it a mesh, so it's sort of like UV, you can sort of see which things do what, what makes up the plane. This one is normal, without any textures, just uh, just the object. This one makes it look plasticky with colour, so you notice we've got the, the white line sort of going down, the rest of it's normal. And then this one adds reflection, so it makes it look shiny, like that. This doesn't change how it'll look in the game, this is just preview modes uh, to see how it would look with different shaders on. But now that we've selected the canards, we can actually, we can actually have a look at it. Uh, go to UV editing, and we can see that that's where the canard is, in there. And I want to center it on it, so I just press the full stop button again on the number pad, and it centers it over there. 
and then we press 5 so it doesn't go through. Now we have the texture paint and it's changed modes again so each time you change it so UV editing is in that mode, layout is in that mode but texture paint isn't so you just have to do it again for each one. Okay so now we can paint something on here like that. Okay now for saving the image after we've made our texture, let's say we made our texture and we like that, uh, we can now go to image in this page and then go to save as and then save it wherever you want to save it so I can just save it in there if I wanted to and you have to do this with every texture so that was only one texture which was called text a fighter 2 external 2 uh, whereas this one it uses a different one called text a fighter 2 x1 instead so you'd have to save both of them to get the skin now let's say you want to put text on your plane the easiest way to do it is using an external software. You can't actually do it in Blender. You can, you can try. So if I go to texture paint now uh, for the body and I want to put text there, uh, the only way I've sort of noticed is doing it is to put an image on, is to go to here, create a new brush, make sure it's on image or movie, go to open, and then I can just go to the this image, for example, and then I can paint it. But you notice how it doesn't look, It, it it's upside down for a start, and it um, it's not it's not like it, it, it duplicates it. It's not how I wanted it to be, and as I zoom in, it makes it smaller or whatever. So it's not that effective. So what I recommend doing if you want to put text on is to open another so, uh, an image editor, uh, and then in Blender, open UV editor, and then you can see. Uh, let me just recenter it. And then let's say I wanted my name to come up here or something. I could just select that part of the plane and then you'll see it selects it in here. So if I just go like that, it selects the bit. I can open up I can open it up in an external software, like uh, I use Draw Plus. Uh, some people use paint.net. You could even use paint if you wanted to. And then just drag your your image over it. And then put it back in. The way you put it back into Blender is go to image and then replace and then select a different texture for it. So for example, if I wanted to select a skin I've already made with my name on it, uh, where, where is it? Steam. Just go to the place I saved it. Skins. Uh, yep, yeah, external two. Is it external two? No, external one. Place the image. There you go. And go to texture paint, and you'll notice my name's come up there. That's because I made that in another thing. Y you can also do this if you want to edit. Uh, like another skin you've already made so what I just did then this is a skin I've already made if I wanted to edit it again I could just put it back in with replace and when I update it I can go to save as like that uh, yeah that's pretty much it for the blender tutorial um, actually I'll zip up all my folders which have the FBX's in so you can just import the raw thing without having to delete all these annoying meshes because when you first import the FBX, it'll have loads of weird stuff around it that you don't need. So I'll put them in a zip file and then I'll upload them or something so you guys can download it. But yeah, that's it for the Blender tutorial, hopefully OBS recorded. Okay.